Why is there something rather than nothing? Everything else is either explained or well on the way to being explained. We're left with just one little tiny smidgen of a gap in which God is alleged to be, to be hiding. But even if you invoke a supernatural creator to explain why is there something rather than nothing, you still explain absolutely nothing because you're left without an explanation for that God himself. Now, this argument on Dawkins' part, I think, is quite inept because philosophers of science recognize that in order to recognize an explanation as the best explanation, you don't have to have an explanation of the explanation. In order to recognize that an explanation is the best, you don't need to have an explanation of the explanation. But even if you invoke a supernatural creator to explain why is there something rather than nothing, you still explain absolutely nothing because you're left without an explanation for that God himself. Mm -hmm. That leads immediately to an infinite regress. You need to have an explanation of the explanation of the explanation. And, and so on to infinity. You would never have an explanation of anything which would destroy science. So that Dawkins' principle, if adopted, would actually be completely destructive of science. That's how inept this argument is.